CloudDB, shaping your new normal. Hey, welcome everyone to the 2022 APEC Database Days by APAC OUC. This is our first year having a dedicated database event and it's your honor and privilege to run this event with the support of 15 Oracle user groups and Java user groups in the Asia APAC region. Please remember to register as many sessions as you can. This way you will be able to access our replays until May 20, 2022. That means you just go to the agenda of the event, select to attend and register to attend as many sessions you wish. And then that sessions will be loaded to your uh, personal schedule and you attend the tab in the application. There, after 24 hours of the session live, you'll be able to find the replay links. I would like to say thanks to our Oracle user group and Java user groups that made this event possible and also to our sponsors, the Oracle Ace community, the DevRel team, and your main sponsors, Oracle Corporation and CloudDB. Now for today's session, Golden Gate Deep Dive by Ahmad uh, Riaz Ahmad Anzari. Uh, please feel free to ask questions at any time by using the chat window on your right lower corner of your screen. And the speaker on this case, uh, Rias, will be able to answer your questions at the end of the session. If you have any technical issues during the session, please also use the same chat window to let me know and I will try to help you the best I can. Now, without any more delays, I would like to leave you with this amazing session by Riaz Ahmad Anzari. Riaz, the room is yours. Okay, good morning, all of you. Thanks, Francisco, uh, for this introduction. Uh, as uh, he said, my name is Ahmad, but uh, here uh, about myself, I'm a principal consultant at Povian Consulting, and I am a YouTuber, blogger, speaker, and mentor. And now, uh, this is uh, Golden Gate. So this is the uh, solutions available from Golden Gate software. So in this diagram, you can see that we have OLTP systems. And after that, we have Oracle Golden Gate. That is basically collect a log base, real time change data capture. And that data uh, can be used for high availability, zero time, uh, downtime upgrades and migration, live reporting, operational business intelligence, and many things, uh, sorry, uh, many things uh, we can use. So basically Oracle Golden Gate provides low impact capture, uh, routing, transformation, and delivery of database transactions across heterogeneous environments in real time. Basically, Oracle Golden Gate enables the exchange and manipulation of data at the transaction level among multiple heterogeneous platform across the enterprise. Okay, and it moves committed data uh, only from uh, redo logs and maintain transaction integrity uh, with the subsequent uh, later latency. And uh, it is uh, its reliability basically. Uh, uh, critical for enabling continuous available uh, solution, including high availability, zero time time upgrade and migration, live reporting, operational business intelligence, and transactional data integration. So uh, this is the work of Oracle Golden Gate uh, software. And uh, you can see uh, in the diagram. So that is uh, solutions uh, which Oracle Golden Gate provides, and it is very high in demand in uh, Oracle uh, technology. And what are the uh, capabilities uh, and uh, differentiators you will get uh, from Golden Gate? So Oracle Golden Gate is a middleware product basically designed to work in a heterogeneous environment with different databases. And it moves, as I said, only committed data across platforms which allows uh, for subsequent uh, latency. This is different from an Oracle database, which writes committed and uncommitted changes to the redo logs. And it can move changes across a TCP IP network and does not require Oracle net. And it uses its own system of checkpoint files to maintain transaction integrity. 
and uh, does not use a concept of multiplexing like an Oracle database. Uh, and it can quickly move data to a standby database that can support disaster recovery. Okay, but it will not support automatic failure, which is the capability or feature of Oracle Data Gate. Okay, and it uses its own committed uh, sequence number that is CSN. We have SCN in the database, but here we have CSN. Okay, uh, to identify a transaction, which is basically based on Oracle Database SCN number. So uh, this is uh, all about uh, uh, key capabilities and technology differentiators. Now, in this diagram, if you see what actually delivers Oracle Golden Gate. So Oracle Golden Gate basically save your time, save your money because it delivers continuous operations for mission critical applications to eliminate unplanned uh, and planned uh, uh, downtime and uh, related cost. Okay, and it lower uh, IT cost through heterogeneous support for multiple platforms to uh, leverage lower cost infrastructure for uh, query offloading. And it also improves efficiency through improved performance, scalability of real time feeds and data distribution. And it reduces the risk by ensuring data integrity and reliability uh, between source and target system. And it also reduces barriers to sharing data because uh, it has no application impact for real time data acquisitions provides improved visibility and business uh, insight. So these are the <coughs> things, uh, excuse me, uh, which Oracle Golden Gate provides. Now, uh, this is the solutions which already in the first uh, diagram. So nothing to tell about this. Uh, this is the only graphical uh, differentiation in the pictures where we have Golden Gate, uh, public cloud, high availability, zero turn time, live reporting, business intelligence and service oriented. Okay, SOA. Now, what are the topologies Oracle Golden Gate will be used? So here you can see that undirectional query offloading, bi-directional standby database, or you can say active active for high availability, pair-to-pair -pair load balancing, multi-master, uh, broadcast data distribution, integration, consolidation, data warehouse, cascading data marts. So these are the methods by that uh, you can configure and you can use the uh, Oracle Golden Gate. So this is a modular architecture that provides the flexibility to extract and replicate uh, selected data records, uh, transactional changes and changes to data definition, that is DDL, <coughs> sorry, across a uh, uh, verify of uh, variety of topologies. So with this flexibility, uh, plus it will filter the transformation and custom processing features of Oracle Golden Gate. So it supports numerous business requirements like business continuous and high availability, initial load, database migration, data integration, decision support, and data warehousing. So that you need to configure and then you can use uh, these topologies features. Now come to Oracle middleware for uh, business intelligence. So what all about is uh, uh, integrated data and applications through the enterprise and presenting them in a unified view is a complex task, okay? Not only are there uh, broad uh, disparities in technologies, data structures and application functionality, but there are also fundamental differences in integration architecture. So some integration needs are data oriented, especially those involve large data volumes. Other integration projects uh, lend themselves to an event uh, driven architecture that is EDA uh, or service oriented architecture that is SOA for asynchronous or synchronous uh, integration. So Oracle basically offers uh, comprehensive solutions for data integration that help uh, move data in uh, bulk across heterogeneous sources and targets uh, with the best in class extract load transform uh, technology of Oracle uh, data integrator and best in class uh, data cle uh, cleansing technology. And uh, these solutions can be integrated together with SOA approaches to build reusable data services. So Oracle Golden Gate now completes the picture 
with the addition of real time chain data capture and replication for uh, high availability now what is oracle data integrator ee and ogg uh, relationship so in this you can see that oracle golden gate and oracle data integrator are combined to deliver real time data warehousing so uh, this combination brings fast real time data integration and fast uh, bulk data transformation so combining od ie with oracle golden gates a real time low impact change data capture which help customer use integrated data quality and fast bulk transformation so oracle golden gate uh, feeds the staging area of the data warehouse and odie platform bulk transformation to feed the user table in the uh, in the data warehouse for a low total cost of uh, ownership and high performance real time data warehouse solution so oracle golden gate helps in data warehouse also so that is uh, that's why it is in uh, demand for olap and oltp both the uh, technology now what is uh, real time data uh, of warehousing oracle golden gate so for real time data warehouse environments oracle golden gate uh, capture and deliver chain data to the data warehouse uh, or operational data is stored in real time because uh, this is log based so there is a minimal impact on the source okay you can see in the figure so there is there are no batch windows and it moves the new transaction in a source system in very few sub seconds during the movement phase each transactions commit uh, boundaries are maintained to ensure data integrity so odi platforms complex transformation within the database for maximum performance so the other benefit of this approach is uh, data uh, recoverability in case there is an outage during data movement so this is an important uh, uh, requirement because data uh, latency decreases in feeding the analytical environment so oracle golden gate uh, trail file that store the chain data are persistent so they can be reapplied re if needed to the target and also to the source system so that is the advantage of using oracle golden gate in real time uh, data warehousing okay now oracle golden gate solutions for oracle database that is the uh, requirement for the dba so uh, like these days we have migration and maintenance uh, uh activity is going on in every organization uh, so everybody is moving to the cloud so migrate from uh, non oracle database to oracle twenty. this is uh, one uh, uh, expect and upgrade oracle database version from 8i 9i 10g or 11g to 12c or 18c 19c upgrade or migrate the database server for operating system perform database maintenance perform application upgrade like siebel crm so uh, oracle golden gate provide these type of facilities so it help uh, in, in 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 moving the data or upgrading the uh, things in very less time uh, less uh, uh, time so z basically zero downtime so that's why oracle golden gate is hot for migration and upgradation yeah so if you see in the figure uh, that is zero downtime siebel upgrade and data migration so you can use oracle golden gate to upgrade and migrate and maintain a database hardware uh, and os or an application it will minimize the risk with the fallback option you have fallback option also uh, if you are failing something and it improve uh, success with the phased user may, uh, user migration and whenever a database an application an os or hardware must be upgraded or migrated oracle golden gate enables zero downtime upgrade uh, by synchronizing the new system with the existing one so that user can immediately switch over as soon as the data is fully sync with the new data uh, base uh, uh, actually and it also offers a fallback option to go back to the old system if you are needed for any reason so that is the help uh, uh, of ogg for oracle database now <clears throat> this is another uh, picture in that it is showing 
zero downtime. So uh, uh, a key use in elim elim uh, eliminating plan downtime is database upgrade. So Oracle Golden Gate enables zero database downtime for upgrades and supporting upgrades from version 8i, 9i, 10g, and 11g to 12c, 19c, 18c. So the solution enables zero database downtime by synchronizing uh, database in different version and enabling immediate uh, super, uh, switchover. So customer can also use the two database versions concurrently to make the upgrade completely transparent to application user and as well as it will validate data consistency. So in this picture, you can see that you have Oracle 8i, 9i, 10g, and uh, the target uh, uh, is uh, captured, deliver, uh, deliver, capture. There is a LAN pre switch over. So by this way, uh, you will uh, do the uh, upgrade in, 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 in your environment. Now, disaster recovery and data protection also provided by uh, Oracle Golden Gate and it will eliminate the unplanned downtime with Active Data Guard. So for disaster recovery, Active Data Guard is a, vi a viable option for Oracle database. So Oracle Golden Gate supplements it with the uh, non-Oracle platform uh, active to active configuration and cross OS or cross database version. So Oracle Golden Gate basically support a physical standby, logical standby, or live standby database system. So Oracle Golden Gate keeps a live standby database system in sync. So that will uh, enable uh, immediate switch over to the standby system whenever it's needed. And the secondary system is open for read only as well as the write uh, use. So a post switch over data flow from uh, standby to primary uh, basically uh, is also provided and any data that is processed by the standby during the outage it moves to the primary as soon as it is back online so this is the better things uh, with golden gate and oracle golden gate can also be used with active data guard suppose active data guard can protect a primary database that Oracle Golden Gate is using for a source. Active Data Guard can also be used to protect a primary database that Oracle Golden Gate is using for a target. So with the help of Active Data Guard, Oracle Golden Gate gives you better uh, features, better security, better uh, protection of your uh, data. Now, when you are uh, 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 query uh, offloading, then in, in that case, uh, it will improve production system performance and it, 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 it lower the cost. So what, what it will do, actually active active envir uh, environments may also be doing uh, bi-directional uh, replication. And in heterogeneous configuration, we have different OS or database version or different type of database uh, uh, in the system. So Oracle Golden Gate can also be used to move data from a CPU bound source machine to a different uh, target machine that is not CPU bound. So to handle uh, semi available uh, key issue, Oracle Golden Gate offers the approach of offloading queries, thus improving the performance of the production system uh, and by assigning uh, expensive queries to a secondary lower cost platform. So good example uh, is that uh, if suppose you require the solution for an airline. So typically there are many users who query the uh, airline database, but who may not actually confirm a booking. So allowing this user to perform their queries on a different continuous synchronized database improves production uh, system performance and extend the life cycle of existing OLTP investment. So this is the features which Oracle uh, Golden Gate gives to Oracle uh, database. Now, processing offloading. So what is actually it offload the redo logs. So it will capture and can be offloaded from the source database to an immediate host by copying the redo logs. So this feature actually uh, Oracle Golden Gate uh, version 11 with the plus sign to the show offloading. Okay. Uh, and it is the minimum version. You can have a later version such as Oracle Golden Gate 12C. So Oracle Golden Gate and Oracle uh, database release number are not necessarily in the sync, 
okay that is that means you can run oracle golden gate 12.1 uh, 2 against oracle database 11.21 okay so there are certain combination of version that are required to support the downstream extension uh, uh, extraction so these details you can see uh, in in oracle documentation now <clears throat> operational reporting with the help of oracle golden gate uh, you can uh, uh, use the operational reporting because it is sub-second data latency, no performance degradation for the source system, read consistent change data with uh, uh, referential integrity, and it will complete data recoverability via trail files. So in uh, Oracle Golden Gate enables the real-time reporting from a lower cost system uh, by keeping the reporting database in sync with the OLTP. So Oracle Golden Gate can move just the data that is needed for reporting and the heterogeneity enables the use of lower cost system. So uh, uh, an example is the offloading from a mainframe to Oracle database on Linux. So operational reporting from a single source system or running queries on the source production can, system can affect the performance. So as a result, so the best practice is to offload uh, reporting to a lower cost system. So that is uh, Oracle Golden Gate provides. <coughs> now, what is uh, active active? Uh, it will increase return on investment, that is ROI on existing server and synchronize global data. So here in active to active or multi master database configuration also help to eliminate system performance by issuing aligned transaction load distribution between complete, uh, completely parallel system which Oracle Golden Gate replicates and active to active configuration also enables continuous system availability because uh, of the availability to work with remaining database. If one database fails, data can be filtered to move only certain schema tables or rows. So that <coughs> uh, you will get in active active uh, features uh, with Oracle uh, Golden Gate. Now, this is the Oracle Golden Gate uh, processes and uh, their uh, dependencies. So here in the source database, you have redo logs, then extract, then CKPT, then param, then trail, then manager, then data pump. And then uh, on the target side, uh, you have a uh, server collector, then replicate, then again, trail file, uh, CKPT, param, and manager. So this is the overall picture of uh, Oracle Golden Gate processes and their dependencies. Now, if you see the roadmap, uh, so uh, it will building blocks of Oracle Golden Gate. So what is the method uh, for transferring the data? It will extract, store in the trail, and it will replicate. So how it will do that, I will give you a one by one uh, slide. So here, the first thing it will uh, extract uh, is the process which uh, committed transaction are captured and can be filtered and as they occur by reading the transaction log. So Oracle Golden Gate can move data between heterogeneous database for both the source and the target and the software approach, uh, operates at the database level and the capture uh, component is typically installed on the source database server outside of the BBMS. So Oracle Golden Gate extract process basically reads the native transaction log and capture transaction as soon as they commit and takes the transaction outside of the database system to be uh, queued. Oracle Golden Gate moves only changed committed transaction data and it allowing it to it operate with high performance and very low impact. So Oracle Golden Gate also filter uh, at the schema, table, column, or row level. So row level transformation can be applied either uh, at this capture stage or later when it's delivered. So Oracle Golden Gate can do a classic extract for any platform. Uh, but if the platform is uh, Oracle database of a certain version, it also do an optional integrated uh, 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 extract uh, of what is operational integrated extract by passing the log by using direct APIs, which is more efficient. Okay. So this is the first thing which happens. Now, second thing, what will happen? 
a golden gate uh, what is trail trail is basically uh, uh, after the capture oracle golden gate convert the committed transaction into a uh, canonical universal data format in trail files and using uh, using source and target trail file it ensures that data integrity is maintained and if uh, even if there is a system error or an outage so after extracting it will store in the trail file and then it will pump so the third phase is pump so what is pump basically uh, actually uh, capture movement can be used to pump the data to multiple target and it is used for better recoverability so this configuration basically enhance the fault tolerance and reliability of the overall golden gate environment if there is a network failure between the source and the target system oracle golden gate capture component can continue to capture transaction because the data can be queued up locally in the trail file on the source and enhancing the recoverability in case of uh, database failure okay now what next next will to transfer the data so you can see it will route the data so data is then routed from the trail file via tcp ip that can be used ipv4 protocol or ipv6 to the target system during this routing process data compression and encryption can be applied and thousand of the transaction can be moved uh, within a per second without distance limitation so this is the most important advantage of using oracle golden gate to transferring the data between two databases instead of uh, distance limitations now what will happen after the transfer uh, routing uh, the trail uh, file is also available in the target site but replicate is the another component of oracle Gainter gate which actually installed uh, the data on the target database server whatever the queue transaction that are stored in the tra trail file are applied to the target by using native sql calls so if necessary basic transformations at the row level can be applied at either delivery or capture so oracle golden gate can do a classic replicate means delivery for any supported platform but if the platform is oracle database of a certain version it can also use uh, integrated replicate bypassing the sql apply by using the uh, direct apis which is more efficient if you have a uh, latest database version then you can use this integrated features now what next after replicate uh, after replicate bi-directional data movement if you have configured so the, the data movement can also be done bi-directional so oracle golden gate has built in loop a deduction to differentiate between new transaction and the data that is replicated so you can see the uh, arrow uh, first is going forward and then backward so you are doing bi-directional uh, data movement in your environment so that you can do also uh with the help of uh, this okay now supported platforms and uh, uh, this uh, database operating system so supported platforms we have oracle golden gate capture uh, with the Oracle, uh, MySQL, I, uh, IBM DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, and uh, this Trader Data and uh, 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 Inscribe. So Oracle Golden Gate is uh, ideal for heterogeneous environment. Uh, it will not just to support different version of the same database, but it also uh, support operating system hardware, uh, which are different, but to replicate and integrate data across uh, vendor system. So Oracle Golden Gate support basically log based data capture of change data uh, from nearly all ma major database version. So replicating and delivering uh, that data are also available to uh, to an even wider range of target. Okay. 
so uh, this is uh, the things uh, which uh, oracle golden gate supported so not all database are supported in all version of oracle database now you can check uh, the latest certification matrix from oracle website there you can get what are the database version it is supporting on what are the platform and sorry and these are the operating system on which you can uh, support uh, by oracle golden gate all version but you need to check the data latest certification matrix now what is product line uh, product line is basically what are the product oracle golden gate offers so here uh, we have the table there is a oracle golden gate very data management pack for golden gate uh, oracle golden gate application adapter so management pack for oracle golden gate is a server based product that provides a graphical interface for designing configuring managing monitoring and reporting on the oracle uh, golden gate components so that are implement uh, implemented across a business uh, organization so it includes oracle golden gate data director uh, for creating solutions graphically and oracle golden gate monitor for monitoring oracle golden gate objects and sending alerts so these are the products which we have in oracle golden gate now what is the use of uh, uh, oracle golden gate uh, uh, in, in in this uh, technology in the database so we have primary use uh, we change data capture and deliver uh, from uh, data transactional log optional logs and optional use is basically initially load uh, directly from database table that is useful for uh, synchronization uh, uh, synchronizing heterogeneous uh, database so in that uh, basically uh, the database is specific uh, for oracle to oracle homogeneous environment in in those cases oracle golden gate is the recommended method and transaction logs in oracle database in, uh, with contents are the redo log so so we should not confuse about undo logs or redo log so here we have homogeneous and heterogeneous uh, solutions uh, with the help of oracle golden gate so now come to oracle golden gate components so these are the uh, oracle golden gate components uh, which uh, interviewer asked in an interview that is manager collector uh, extract data pump replicate trails checkpoint wallet so these all we can see previous slide so what is manager manager is required to start and stop uh, the other process but it is not required for the ongoing operation of another process so you can start the manager use the manager to start the extract and then stop and restart the manager without affecting the running is extract and uh, server collector is also known simply the collector which will collect the transaction and extract also known as the chain data capture which actually capture the data and data pump is optional but it is highly recommended to use data pump and replicate is replicating the things or applying the things on the target side and trail uh, or extract file which stores the data uh, and checkpoint is uh, basically a marker which 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 uh, which note uh, the transaction with the help of csn and wallet is used for common storage of user ids and part password and it is optional but highly recommended now this is oracle golden gate uh, logical architecture where you can see that we have the database we have uh, source tables and uh, we have extract then manager then network then on the target side also we have a manager and collector trail file replicate and uh, data pump and wallet uh, uh, that is uh, data source for change synchronization transaction log so these uh, this is the uh, internal architecture on this basis your data will be transferred so this diagram basically shows the logical architecture for initial data load and for the replication of ongoing databases changes so this is the basic configuration and uh, vendor access model that is vam is usually used only by non oracle database such as teradata and from uh, oracle golden gate version 11.21 and later all network call 
use the ipv6 based apis which is which support either ipv4 or ipv6 network as uh, as can ask here and if you if you later you can mail me and uh, the source of this uh, uh, is for actual documentation yes please you have any questions so you can post in the chat box otherwise you can mail me yes um sorry uh, ahmed yes uh, up to this point i see no uh, uh questions uh, if anyone has any questions please feel free to use the chat window <clears throat> If not, you can ask uh, the questions offline, emailing directed uh, Ahmed or contacting him by Twitter, LinkedIn, or even sending your questions to us and, and we can forward uh, all your questions to Ahmed. Also, if you're watching the replay, the session replay will be available tomorrow night and for this session. And you can also, if you have any other questions afterwards, uh, contact Ahmed directly to for to with your questions if you want it. Um, saying that, looks like there's no questions coming from Facebook or by the chat right here. Uh, Ahmed, thank you yes, so please. much again for another fantastic session, like thank you your session yesterday on Data Guard and today on Golden Gate. Thank you. All right. Saying that, thank you so much, everyone. Um, uh, please enjoy the other uh, two sessions today and I uh, still having four more sessions tomorrow and remember to take a look also in the replays when possible. Okay, thank you. Thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day and please take care. Thank you, same to you.